The art of deception is something that has captivated pop culture and entertainment for decades. TV shows made about magic tricks, illusionists, and con men are plentiful. So I figured, why don't I go over my top five favorite magic-related TV shows of all time? Some of these are obviously gonna be more magic-related than others. Others are based on illusions and con men and mystery. But I figured if you guys ever run out of amazing, incredible, once weekly rise magic content that you can go over and check out some of these TV shows to either up your performance game or just learn more about your favorite hobby or profession. And yes, this is my list, my opinion, as an award-winning filmmaker. I can actually say that now, which is pretty lit. I'll explain that at the end of the video, but basically you guys just helped me win an extremely awesome award and I'm very thankful, but I'll explain at the end. For now, let's start off with number five. Coming in at number five, I'm going with one of my favorite TV shows of all time, magic aside, Psych. Now you might think this show has nothing to do with magic. That is entirely untrue. Can I use your phone? Or do you only let the white people use that? Who said anything about white people? You just did. The words white people did not come out of my mouth. There they are again. Luckily I had my hand recorder on for that one. The show is all about Sean Spencer and his partner Gus. And Sean Spencer is a psychic detective who solves crime using his incredible wit and intelligence, but masquerades his intelligence as being a psychic who has incredible mentalism powers with visions and all these other sorts of things. The overarching plot of the whole show is basically Sean hiding the fact that he really isn't a psychic, but it makes for some really hilarious moments and it might remind you of some of those illusionists you see out there who pretend to have their psychic visions. Are you psychic? Yes, I am. A person of psychic ability. I am. With the ability to see into the future. I am. I'm so psychic, I can't even believe it. You want to try it in Spanish? Si. Mucho clara de Dante. Estoy sin parrillas. You just said that you were legless. You're legless. But yeah, Sean will always use these elaborate magic tricks and traps to catch the criminals red-handed or to solve the mystery. It's a really funny show. Do not take my word for it. I guarantee you if you scroll into the comments, you're going to see a ton of people commenting, Oh my gosh, psych. That's my favorite show. It really is an awesome show, and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you viewing it. For number four, we have White Collar. The main character of this show, Neil Caffrey, is what it is all about. As a magician or illusionist, your goal should be to emulate Neil Caffrey's style, charisma, quick-witted, cunning, intelligence. This man is incredible, but in the show, he is always killing it with the ladies and solving crime because he is an ex mastermind conman. The whole idea behind the show is that Neil is an ex-conman that is working for the FBI instead of being in prison for his crimes as a conman. He helps the FBI solve crimes using the same skills that he used to use to commit those crimes, whether that be sleight of hand, forgery, elaborate, deceptive cons. Neil really is the focus of the show. There is a lot of magic involved. In fact, if I remember right, the season finale does include a three-card Monty trick. But for any magician who watches this show, I would want you to carry yourself the same way he does, because man, that's one cool dude. Coming in at number three, we have Penn and Teller Fool Us. Finally, yes, a show that is all about magic. This show is extremely popular among magicians and the general population alike. For those of you who don't know, magicians ranging from completely unknown and complete amateurs to expert magicians come on the show to try and fool Penn and Teller with their magic act. These magicians have to keep in mind, not only do they want to be entertaining to the audience, but they want to use extremely deceptive and new tactics to fool people who know almost everything there is to know about magic, Penn and Teller. Quick interruption for this segment of the video, let you know that what you just saw happen with Shinlin being unknown and Jabrizi being famous was a joke. I'm kidding. I know who Shin Lim is. I want to clarify this directly to you guys so that I do not get this video disliked 15,000 times. Please. If you're an aspiring magician and want to take magic seriously as a career, seriously watch this show. You're going to learn a ton of performing tips, whether that is carrying yourself on stage or using close up magic tricks and making them play huge for a whole audience. There's a lot of awesome things you can learn just by watching the show and by trying to figure out the tricks for yourself. Even if you don't want to be a career magician, this show is still extremely entertaining. It's been going for five seasons and just got renewed for its sixth, so I would encourage you to go check it out. For number two, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. These are not necessarily TV shows, but they are TV specials. Specifically, 
TV specials by David Blaine. This would include David Blaine Street Magic, David Blaine Magic Man, David Blaine Frozen in Time, David Blaine Vertigo, David Blaine Dive of Death, David Blaine Discover Magic, David Blaine Beautiful Struggle, David Blaine Reorder Magic, and David Blaine Beyond Magic. These are all incredible shows that showcase incredible magic. David Blaine played a huge part in popularizing magic and making it more mainstream into pop culture. So there's a lot you can learn from his performing style. And it's really cool just to see those OG tricks before so many other magicians. I don't want to say have stolen them, but have modified them to make them their own. David Blaine really was an innovator in this category, and I'm sure he's still going to continue to release awesome specials that will air both on ABC and Netflix. So always stay tuned for those. If you have watched every single Rise Magic video since being on this channel, you might already know what number one is because I have mentioned this show a couple times in previous videos. For number one, I am going with The Mentalist. The main character, Patrick Jane, is the epitome of what any magician should want to be. Witty, cunning, humble, but everyone already knows that he's the smartest person in the room, extremely well-versed in sleight of hand, and the deceptive abilities. I just found this in John Doe's jacket pocket. I don't know why I didn't notice it before. Thanks. I figured some kind of message, maybe, from the killer. That's my card. How did you do that? Hmm? What? Card tricks. The man has lost his life. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. Patrick Jane is a reformed conman. He doesn't necessarily fool people like that anymore, but he uses that same skill set to help the police solve crime and take down some really awful criminals. In fact, each show there's a crime that's solved, but there is a massive overarching plot that gives you an incredible payoff once you watch all seven seasons. The ending of this show, I cannot spoil it, the ending is truly incredible. Magic-wise, this show talks about everything from French drops to thumb tips to card tricks to sleight of hand to mentalism, obviously, but it really is an awesome show to watch if you are a magician or a mentalist. There's a lot to learn from how Patrick Jane carries himself as a character, and I think you guys, magic aside, will really enjoy the show. It's my favorite of all time, and I really do hope you check it out. If you do, go ahead and message me on Instagram what you think about it, because man, when that show was originally on air and that overarching plot that I'm talking about didn't have a resolution, there were so many theories on what's gonna happen. If you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about, but it was wild. And that's it guys, that's my list of my five favorite magic related TV shows. If you think I missed one, go ahead and comment it below. I don't watch too much TV, but if I see a really good one, I'll probably watch it and keep you guys posted on it. Next week, I'm thinking about doing movies, so if you have any movies you wanna make sure I do not forget on my favorite magic movies list, be sure to comment them below. Besides all the commenting, if you wanna like the video, it always helps us. It helps our videos get recommended more and things of that nature so our channel can grow. Obviously, subscribing always helps. Notification bell helps even more because subscribing sometimes doesn't really work that well with how YouTube's notification system works. By the way, what I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys remember, a few months back, I made a documentary on one of my friends from high school. His name's Joe Pfeiffer. He's a professional MMA fighter, and he is now 4-0 professionally and just won his first pro title this past weekend. I was at the fight. Extremely awesome experience. Huge thank you to Joe for getting me to that fight. But my documentary on Joe won best of competition and second place overall in the entire country in the BEA Media Festival. I'm really excited about this because in all my future works, I can refer to myself as an award-winning filmmaker, which is true, it's crazy. And you guys are a big part of it because of all the experience I've gotten here on YouTube making videos and of course you guys watching the documentary itself really did help. As a competitor, I'm a little bit bummed out that I got second, it's like, man, one away from first place. I couldn't get first! But I'm still gonna hold my head high because the team that beat me in first place was a team of 21 people with tens of thousands of dollars in grants, and I got second place with this camera and myself and zero dollars, and a team of me, not 21. I was actually the only solo entry that placed in the competition, so. I guess second place is the first loser, but I still get to say award-winning filmmaker, so, eh. But thanks guys, I really do appreciate it. Really quick, lots of you guys have been asking me about how I'm doing health-wise. Amazing, absolutely amazing. God is good. I'll see you next week, peace out.